Good evening and welcome to the North Peoria Church of Christ Bible class. We're going to be waiting for a few moments for those that gather who usually listen. And while we're listening, we're thankful to Jerome and Tiffany Malone for writing our song for this evening. Jesus is more. You want to tag somebody, you want to tell them that the North Peoria Church is on just for a few moments tonight. We'll not be long at all. So tell them to come on in. We only have a few minutes tonight. Only a few minutes tonight. Tell somebody to come on in. Everybody wants a hero. Everybody needs a friend. So Everybody needs a helping hand. Well, you ought to try Jesus. Good evening to Kendra Betty Whitlock. Alicia, good to have you on tonight. Susan Miller, one of our former members. It's the moment we're going to get started. Jesus is more. Pick somebody and tell them that the North Korea Bible class is on. To in for a few moments tonight. Jesus is more. Tag somebody. So I'm going to stop cooking the turkey for just a moment. Come on in for a moment. Not be long tonight. Go to God in prayer in just a little while. If you have a prayer request tonight, type it into the feed. And we'll certainly honor those prayer requests that you may have. Anyone having a prayer request on this Thanksgiving Eve will take time to go to God in prayer. If you have a prayer request. Jesus is more. There ain't no secret yet. What my God can do. Just a moment we're going to God in prayer. Can take a moment now and we're going to go to God in prayer for this nation and for so many who are going through crisis on tonight. We have 20 million people, 20 million people who have signed up for unemployment. We have 50 million people who are hungry going through food lines trying to get their next meal and don't know really where their next meal is going to come from. 50 million people. We have so many who are sick with COVID. So many who are going through trials that they've never been through before. So we're going to take a moment now and just a moment and go to God through the avenue of prayer. If you have a request, type it into the feed. There's nothing that God can't do. When we talk to him, God will answer our prayers. So let's take a moment now and just talk to our Father. Lord, thank you for being such an awesome God. Thank you for everyone who's standing tonight in need of prayer. Thank you, Father, that you are a providing God. And we ask you tonight to be provisionary for all those who are hungry. Give them the ability to secure a meal, take care of their families. Father, we're grateful for our ability to be able to have food on our table. And it's only because of you that we're not one of those in line waiting for someone to put something in our back seat or in our trunk to be able to make it to another day. We're mindful of so many who are sad tonight because of the loss of loved ones who will not be here this Thanksgiving. But thank you for blessing us yet to see another day. We ask you to continue to be with us, be with our nation, be with this world. Hold us in the very hollow of your hand and give us peace. And what we will continue to do is give you glory for every good thing that happens. In the strong, sweet, and tender name of Jesus, we ask these things. And every heart said, Amen, Amen. In just a moment, I'm going to be 
uh, sign it off and that I have uh, a sermon that we're going to be presenting tonight uh, for Southwestern Christian College at 7 o'clock. You'll be able to tune in and catch that full sermon on the Church TV network. Uh, and at 7 o'clock, I'll be preaching. And after I finish preaching, then the president of the school will be making a presentation for Southwestern Christian College. We ask you to get ready in just a little while to turn in at 7 and listen to <clears throat> the lesson that I'll be doing on tonight. In the meantime, I'm only on tonight to make us think of how blessed we are, uh, how fortunate we are. There's so many people in a time of pandemic and difficulty who are beginning to doubt that God is provisionary. You look around and things may not necessarily look good, but God is good. We have, as I said earlier, 50 million people who are trying to get a meal, not only for tomorrow, but for the next few weeks, the next few months. Tied into that, what I'm gonna ask you to do if you're on program tonight, if you're listening, I want you, if you will, between now and the next few days uh, to get up and go to your local food bank and take some canned items because there are so many who are hungry. If God has blessed you to have food on your table, if God has blessed you to have food in your pantry, what I want you to do, if you're under the sound of my voice, in the next few days, I want you to take some food by a pantry somewhere, the food bank where folk are going by the thousands, yes, by the millions seeking food and help them to restock the food banks so that fellow Americans and folk who are hungry will be able to eat. If God has blessed you, do that tonight and then, or rather tomorrow in the next few days. Help somebody eat. Uh, help somebody who don't have anything to be able to have a meal because you participated. So again, 50 million people are hungry and in lines. And then there are 20 million who are drawing unemployment. And that check that the government provides the extra for the pandemic will run out in December. And folk will be re really behind the eight ball. They won't know how to make it. And so again, we do ask you to again support uh, and try and at least make certain that these folk will have food on their table uh, in the evening. But by the grace of God, it could be you or it could be me. Uh, with all of that going on, somebody says, well, Blakeney, what do you have to be thankful for? Let me just read one little quick passage and then the lesson will be yours in just a moment. Psalms 100 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that have made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. He says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. He concludes in verse five by saying, for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. For a few minutes tonight, I'd like for you to think about what you have to be grateful for. And if there's somebody who don't mind, if you'll type it into the feed tonight, would you tell us and tell everybody, is there two things? I usually do it on Thursday mornings, but we can't do it because of the pandemic. So we'll do it here tonight. Won't you just type in two things that you're grateful for? Two things that you're grateful for. In the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of hunger, in the midst of all the stuff that's going on, we ought to be able to have a moment where we tell God, thank you for what he's done for us. And if you can't thank him for what he has done, then beloved, thank him for what he didn't do. Because he could have done some things that we wouldn't have been happy with. But out of all the trouble in this world, out of all the difficulty in this world, God still woke us up this morning. God still gave us provisionary and provision for us to be able to celebrate on tomorrow. Some of you right now have turkeys in the oven and you have dressing in the ovens and you're preparing to eat with the, with the bubble that you have, the few people that you have tomorrow. You have provisions because God provided. Others may not have it, but you have it. And share what you have. Bless somebody in the next few weeks because God has blessed you. Some things that you're thankful for. I'm thankful that God is good. I'm thankful that God's love is unfailing and that God's love is unconditional. He loves me not because of, he loves me in spite of. I'm thankful that God is always near me. He's always just a prayer away. 
I'm thankful for all the answered prayers. Oh yeah, there are some prayers that I did not get the answer I wanted for or wanted to, but I'm thankful for answered prayer. I'm thankful for the word of God because from the word of God, I get my faith. And what's sustaining me in these troubled times, what keeps me going every day, what makes me move, what gets me up, what makes me motivated is my faith. I may lose a lot of things, but brothers and sisters, I won't lose my faith. It's only how I get through, get by, get over, and it's by my faith. I walk by it. I don't see it all the ways, but I believe it. And if I believe it, I know God will deliver. I'm walking tonight by faith, and I'm thankful for the Bible from whence I get my faith. I'm thankful for the gift of his son who came to a world and died for me on Calvary, that I not only might have a right to the tree of life after a while, but I got joy right now. I will not let this world, with all this going on, steal my joy. I'm glad that trouble don't last always. What I've learned to do is count my blessings instead of my crosses. I've learned to count my gains instead of my losses. I count my joys instead of my woes. And I count my friends instead of my foes. I count my smiles instead of my tears. Count my courage instead of my fears. Count your full years instead of your lean. Count your kind deeds instead of the mean. Count your health instead of your wealth. And count on God instead of yourself. God is a mighty good God. I want you now to bless somebody during this holiday. We wish you a very prosperous and safe holiday uh, for Thanksgiving on tomorrow. Enjoy your day. And while you're mindful of those who have not, while you're prayerful for those who have not, in the next few days, don't forget, go by and get some green beans, get some corn, get something that can feed somebody, bless somebody while you're being blessed yourself. I want you to tune in in just a little while to the Church TV Network uh, and listen to the lesson that I'll be presenting on tonight for the annual lectureship for Southwestern Christian College. And then listen to Dr. Seamster, who is the president of Southwestern, will be on in just a little while at seven o'clock. I wanted to come on and just give you a thought for tonight, Psalms 100. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. May the Lord bless you during this holiday season. May he hold you in the hollow of his hand and may he give you peace. Yes, trouble around us, but don't let it get inside. Hold God close, enjoy your family, Enjoy your family. Enjoy your day. God will make a way somehow. Let's pray together. Lord, thank you that you already have provided. Thank you that you already have been careful to give attention to our needs. Thank you that you're in charge of this world. Thank you for every needed blessing. Thank you for all of the things that you kept from us that we couldn't stand. Thank you for being an awesome God. We love you, we adore you. There's no one above you. In Jesus' name, amen. I want you to enjoy your week. Enjoy tomorrow. Uh, text somebody, let them know this was on. Maybe they can use Psalms 100. And tune in shortly uh, to the Church TV Network and certainly listen to the lesson from Southwestern Christian College. God bless you and God keep you is my prayer.